up YouTube, it is your boy Padrino Key, come back with another video just for you. Today in this video we're going to be doing a Q&A with one of my inspirations, you know I fuck with his work for real, aka Shoehead Randall. Now I'm going to be asking him 10 questions that I got and that I'm pretty sure that y'all would have for him. But uh, yeah, let's get into that. Without further ado, a greeting from Shoehead Randall. What's going on, man? I appreciate you for having me on, man. I appreciate you for reaching out to me to get the answers to your questions. And man, um, I just want to let you know, man, I appreciate what you're doing, man. You keep doing your thing. You got uh, a lot of good equipment, man, that I got to get myself, man. You do a lot of different, you know, edits. That I, that I too, you know, uh, want to get to, like when you have like the white background, you know, you're doing the thumbnail and all that stuff like that. And uh, I just want you to continue doing your thing. And um, I mean, me and you both, bro, I, I don't really consider myself as being, you know, one of the top YouTubers at all, man, because I'm still I'm on ground level trying to build up. So, man, I, I appreciate you for looking at me like, you know, an inspiration. But uh, we gonna get into it, man. What made you come up with your content? Like, what, like, like what made you come up with it? Passion. For a while, man, I've really been into J's, man. Or uh, just shoes in general. But, you know, J's have, like, you know, slowly but surely became one of my, you know, favorite because of the popularity. Um, I, could, I could review all type of shoes, but it's like, you know, J's is one of the top, you know, view shoes out there so um that's that's why i always you know order more jays than any, anything else but um it had to be my boy strong that really inspired me to, to help me come up with the idea to put you know content on my channel because i had a youtube channel for a long like for years but i, ne I never really post nothing on there but my boy strong uh, Y'all go check him out, man. Strong too. Um, he do reviews as well, and he kind of inspi uh, inspired me. Um, no, he don't do you know comedy skits like I do. That that's my own little touch on it, cause you know I've been a goofball all my life, man. And um, I just wanted to bring more to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Some people are like they don't really care too much about shoes, but you know I feel like I'll put a little comedy in there, you know, so I can you know reach more. You know, people. You know, have a bigger audience. So, um, just just my just my you know love for fashion, man, and, and, and just shoes. That was the reason that I decided. Hey, you know, I'm gonna start doing some reviews too. Question number two: Where are you from? Um, where I'm from? I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Broward County, Lauderdale Lake. Three, where did you learn to do art? Well, I learned to do art. I've been doing art since I was seven, man. Um, as far as learning goes, I would say I'm self-taught. Uh, as I got older and YouTube became more popular to me, I started looking at YouTube channels, man. YouTube is like a university, man. That's a school, man. They should call it YouTube University. Cause I swear, but you can like whatever you want to learn, but you can go to YouTube and learn it. So uh, I'm kind, I'm self-taught, man. I've been I've been going and going, man, throughout the years. Been off and on, brushing up on my skills, and then I, you know, leaned over more towards YouTube to really, you know, learn some some techniques that I didn't know. So that's uh, so I would say, yeah, since I was seven, man, I, I'm 29 right now. So uh, since I was seven years old, man, I've been drawing on and off. Question four: What made you come up with art? What made me? 
What made me come up with Unk? Oh man. When I first when I first started putting content up, I already knew that it was a lot of, of uh, Jordan lovers, people who love Jays, man. Like Rock Jays, love the authentic. They'll spend hundreds to thousands of dollars on authentics. And me personally, I knew there would be some backlash coming from, you know, promoting or even trying to get people to buy reps that had good quality. Because I'm, me, I just felt like, you know, if there's people out there that sit in lines for so long, just waiting in lines just to get these shoes, they, you know, they want to feel special. But they feel special about getting these shoes, you know, so they feel like they one of a kind. I spent all this money, I waited all these hours in line, you know, you know, I did whatever I had to do to get these shoes. So here comes, so I, I feel like they think like, okay, here comes this, this dude, he go on, you know, this DHD or this knockoff website or whatever like that, where they sell all these reps and try to get the same shoes I got for pennies on the dime. So I just feel like, man, they, they will automatically look at that and, and, and have something to say about it. Um, I, just, I don't know, man, I, I just feel like, I mean, it don't matter what I post, you know, whether, whether it was shoes or just comedy skill, or I was talking about shirts, I was talking, like, no matter what you, you know, put out on YouTube, there will be somebody out there that, you know, that's hating on what you what you doing. Like, I don't matter what you do. You know what I'm saying? They hated on Christ, and all he wanted to do was save the world. Um, so all he wanted to do was show love. So, I mean, I just knew it would be some backlash. So I said to myself, I said that I would not feed into it. I would not, you know, keep replying to him. I would not, you know, go back and forth with him. And a lot of people say that, but it's just a matter of time before people really start you know getting to getting up on your skin with all the negativity so what i decided to do to absorb all that negativity and, and use it for something good i created Unk. you know so here's Unk, my personal hater and instead of me replying back to them i just take what they say to me like if somebody say oh you know they, they'll say the obvious you know oh you know them shoes fake bro you know, instead of me replying back to them, I'll take what they said and let it come out of Unk's mouth. Hey, those shoes fake look that. You know what I'm saying? So that like that'll be that's how I was that's how I respond, you know. I won't respond to them, but I will let them motivate me with with you know any type of hatred, you know, and let Unk say it. Unk my hate. So that's how that's how I came over Unk. Question five, advice for a family man. Being head of household, man, this this can go for a long ride. Um, advice on being head of household, man. Um, me personally, uh, I, I, I put God first. You love your spouse the way that God loved the church. And uh, so me personally, man, I put God first, man. And, and um, I just go, I just go from there. I let him work, work in me, man, and work through me. And it's, it's a lot of patience, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say you don't get angry as head of household, man. It gets very frustrating at, at times. And um, it, it just, it, it take, it take, I mean, you gotta work with kids, you gotta work with your wife, man. It just, like I say, it takes a lot of patience, man. And you just gotta be there. You gotta be there, man. You gotta have a heart. You gotta be able to love through it all. And you best believe uh, your family is gonna push every button in you that make you wanna turn into a, to a halt, you know what I'm saying? So um, being head of household, man, it's, it's a big responsibility, man. You gotta, you really gotta try to instill in your children uh, basically what the world says um, is not okay. You know what I'm saying? So I got to tell my, ch my child that, yes, this is how you do it. And the world says, no, that is not how you do it. So it's like you kind of, it's like the parent is kind of fighting against the entire world, like trying to raise their child right. You know, no, you don't want to be clubbing like that. No, you don't want to be drinking. You don't want to be smoking. 
You know, you don't want to be going to all these places. You don't be want to be listening to all this crazy music and all this stuff. Um, but the world say that's what you do. So being head of household, man, it's a very, very big responsibility, man. And you have to be uh, patient. You have to be wise. You have to be understanding. And um, you got to be a lot of things, man. You got to try to be a superhero. <laughs> and since it's hard to be a superhero, which is why I leave it in the hands of God, man, to let him deal with me. Question six. What's the favorite pair? I'm like, yeah, actually, yeah. What's the favorite pair of shoes that you have reviewed? I reviewed. It'll have to be probably one of my recent, my last shoe review, which was the Jordan ones, the, the hairs, Jordan one hair. Those probably was my favorite. I haven't worn those yet, but those have to be my favorite shoe. Something about those shoes, man. I probably was waiting on those shoes longer than any other shoe. Um, my Jim Reds was also another good review. My Jim Red. But uh, I, but you, you said one, so my, my favorite one has to be the um, Jordan One Hair. And question seven, where do you see YouTube taking you or where do you want it to see you going, if that makes sense? Um, to be honest with you, man, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm just doing it because, you know, I enjoy it. Wherever it takes me, man, it takes me, man. Like, you never know what happened. YouTube is a platform that opens up many, many doors. I mean, probably through my skits, I can brush up on my acting as I go forward with it. And maybe I could be known and get into, you know, a movie or maybe I can get, you know, some, some endorsements because um, somebody see me as a good, you know, advertiser for their product or whatever. I don't know, you know, it can go either way. So I'm just running it right now. I'm just going with the flow right now, man. And um, that's, that, that's pretty much it. Now, I don't, I don't really have a specific direction where I'm going with it. I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. And I think that's what anybody should do. Just do it because you enjoy it. But, uh, a few questions isn't in the video, but I am going to probably put the screenshots up there of uh, eight, nine, and 10. But if you would like to know what the, what the last three questions was, they were, did your videos become popular? <clears throat> I bet. Did your videos become popular themselves or did you market them yourself, if that makes sense? And how long would you say it took to reach that level of popularity? The last, would you say boxing, I mean, it's my bad. <laughs> Unboxings and reviews are a good way to attract an audience. <clears throat> and he told me, quote, my videos have been noticed because I'm reviewing something that's very popular, which is Jordan's. If you are consistent with posting content, you can get views and subscribers talking even about milk. People are interested in anything. If you're interested, he said it took him about three months to get where he is now, but I am new from jump. I had to, all right, but um, he knew from jump that he had to be different if he wanted to, you know, attract the love and the viewers of his subscribers and his last piece of advice was just you know just find whatever you like to do and do whatever like do whatever comes to mind because more than likely they're gonna like the original you instead of the you sticking to everything that they want to see if that makes sense yeah this is your boy key hope you liked the video like comment and subscribe on this video or well, like like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to his channel 
at the real Randall one Instagram and Shoehead Randall. That's his YouTube page. Appreciate it, y'all. Be reason. I hope I answered all your questions, man, according to your liking. Um, feel free, man. I mean, if you ever want to, you know, ask me any more questions, man, um, feel free to ask me, man. DM me, you know, the real round of one, you already know. Um, like I say, man, I appreciate you for having me on, man. I appreciate you.